Woo! Welcome to Madsebacken! You like ships, right? Because I love ships. And these are, yeah, ship paintings from the Bronze Age. Coming in quick, a little low in time. Gonna get you just right. Pull you up to outer space. Wasn't that a good day? Red guitar, purple haze. Stick love in the ball was all you needed. On this cliff, there's at least 14 ships. Uh, yeah, painted, carved on this rock. And they are beautiful. Boom! Welcome to True Vikings! We are in Denmark and... Joel, I found some Bronze Age graffiti here. You found some Bronze Age? Someone painted the ship 2000 years ago. Nowadays, when you see graffiti, you, you don't see stuff like this. Then it's penises and stuff. <laughs> I was here. Like, where has people's imagination gone? Like here's one ship that is a pretty Viking ship probably and here is a rounded rounded ship or a UFO. We're coming to that in a different episode. Emil will tell you. And uh, what is this? Another kind of ship. Another kind of ship. One ship over here and... Uh, Smaller ships there. Yeah. Weird shapes and farms. And we are in Bornholm, where there was a very rich Bronze Age culture. And that's exactly what we're gonna try to locate with our metal detectors today. Oh, awesome! Somewhere a little bit over there. No, actually, on the other side of the island. <laughs> it's a small <laughs> island anyway. Our Danish friend Hendrik made this bronze sword discovery. We think we might be down to Bronze Age. Maybe. Could Maybe. it be, Hendrik? Maybe it's a bronze dagger. It surely looks like a dagger. I mean, the thickness is right. Yeah. It's curved. And you said you found About them... Half a meter apart. Half a meter apart? Yeah, they fit together. Just like that. The facts are, we have a Bronze Age sword that is at least 2,500 years old. And at least three quarters of the sword is still missing. It's somewhere out here. Bronze Age sword deserves the three star Yalovina Kaske. Everyone loves a good ship, right? Especially the Bronze Age people. Bronze Age ships can be found all over Europe in Bronze Age cultures. Apparently ships were really big, because um, you could travel, you could bring bronze from the Mediterranean or from England. Even the god of the sun himself traveled around in a ship every day. So, very handy and also very smart of them to pick a windy spot like this, here next to the sea in Bornholm. Because when the wind fills up the ship sails, you can travel even faster, even if you are a sun god. Here's something going on as well. Not ships, just dots. I don't know, y'all see ship everywhere. Yeah, what, what's that? Three, four, five thousand years old? Here you can see these uh, little dots holes in the ground. They are called kuppa. 
the Kiwi in Finnish. And they were made actually by uh, yeah, putting like a little bit of sand and water on this one and just twerking with the one stone until it became one of these holes. Leave a comment what you thought, drop a subscribe and see you again next week in next week's video. True Vikings. Namaste.